Hello and welcome to another one of our short videos. Very windy here today, so please excuse all the background noise. Today I'm going to take you around a beautiful example of a 4 Series BMW. This is really trick cars, lovely, loads of little bits and pieces. So it's got the carbon fibre splitters, it's got the upgraded brakes. It's a really, really good looking car. Um, but I'm going to take you around a hi-fi system that we've installed in. So we've actually installed our Audiophile BMW System 3 Plus with the additional um, party subwoofer, which we often talk about. So inside the car, nothing really to show. Apart from the display, the DRC display, fully Hertz H8 processor. So we use this to change the listening position from driver focus to neutral focus, and also to adjust the level of the subwoofer. Uh, that's quite handy, depending on what music you listen to, you often need to tweak that up and down. Apart from that, the car looks pretty standard. We've done an awful lot of work in the doors, as we always do, so three layers of soundproofing in there. And then we've got our Focal ES100Ks fitted in the stock locations. So you've got the mid-range there behind the original grille, and you've got the tweeter just above. So that's a two-way component set in the door, as well as the soundproofing. There's a passive crossover, which just splits the frequencies between the tweeter and the mid-range. Underneath the seats, we've installed the Audison Prima 18 subwoofers. Can't show them to you because they're completely tucked away, but the grille is just there. Quite often people contact us and say that their car hasn't got any subwoofers under the seats. Um, they all have the subs under the seats, it's just they don't play very well so quite often you wouldn't be, uh, you'd easily mistake them for not being there at all. The rear of the car we've kept standard but if we go around to the boot I can show you the famous party sub as well as the amplification and the digital processor. So subwoofer sits there. Notice we don't do any soundproofing underneath the shelf in this vehicle just because we want the base to come through as well as possible. And what we've done is we put a machine bolt in there, so we put a, um, a threaded eyelet in there and then we put a stainless steel Allen key straight back into it. It's extremely solid, you couldn't move, it's absolutely impossible to move because we velcro along the bottom, sit in a correct position, tension it and then bolt it. So you absolutely cannot get that out without the Allen key. Now again, you know, some people say, you know, it's better to have the subwoofer in the cabin. Of course it is, but actually in a 4 Series you can't get the sub in the cabin. People say it's better to have the sub pointing forward. Not actually true, or well, not always true. Pointing the sub forward, some of the frequencies can be slightly more accurate, but actually by firing the subwoofer backwards it creates standing waves and the gains can be huge, you know, maybe 6 dBs. So to, to gain that in terms of power for an amplifier, it's huge. So that's why we point the subwoofer back. And again, Yes, you lose some of the punch from the subwoofer, but we're not trying to get any punch from this subwoofer. This subwoofer is actually running from 60 hertz down. The subs under the seats are running from 40 hertz up. So there's a little bit of a crossover there, which is why time alignment on the subwoofer is actually crucial. Um, getting the phase right with the subs under the seats is more important than you could possibly imagine. So that subwoofer is literally just producing the real lows. All the punch is coming from the subs under the seats. And it works exceptionally well. We install the system over and over again. Everybody's absolutely blown away the results. Um, I've never had anybody disappointed with this system. It's awesome. We've coded this car to hi-fi. That's also quite important. So we've reprogrammed the head unit um, from basic audio to hi-fi. Not to Harman Kardon because we're not running optically in this vehicle. Now, underneath here is the amplification and the digital processor. So the first thing we'll see is that we have actually soundproofed all of the floor pan. We've also soundproofed all inside the tailgate and the quarters because we don't want to lose any base outside the boot. Any base, the only direction we want the base to head is into the cabin. So here we've got a JL Audio XD705, which is a five channel amplifier, and that's running the under seat subs in mono. It's running the front doors and the back doors. Then we've got the JL Audio XD601, which is a 600 watt monoblock amplifier, and that is running just a party sub. Then in the middle, we've got the Hertz H8 processor. It's a fantastic little bit of kit. Um, it really kind of replaces, or we say it, all, it replaces the Audison Bit 10D. Um, it's made by Electromedia, so it all comes out of the same factory. And as you can see, it's identical to a Bit 10D, almost. This little box here is the ES3. That's a start-stop power supply. We install that with every processor because uh, just helps with turn on thump and stuff like that. Makes a really big difference. Quietens the system down, keeps everything running smoothly. <clears throat> We've used Connections Best Phono Cables, so a really good directional phono cable. As you can see, everything's been loomed in tesser tape to keep it nice and neat, stop any resonance or vibration. You've got two lots of four gauge coming down here, um, two lives, two earths. 
and they're running the, the two amplifiers, one earth on this side, one earth on that side. And they're obviously running the two amplifiers from two separate fuses, which are located behind here, right next to the battery. So very short power cable runs, which is always favorite. This is the speaker cables coming up here. And everything, as you can see, is loomed in black Tessa tape. So once again, keeps it tidy, stops any resonance or vibration, stops any excess wear on the cables. Um, that little controller there is a, that little cable there goes up to the DRC in the front. So there you go. That's what we call a system free plus with party sub. And we've upgraded to the five channel amp. The reason why we've done that is because we've done the hi-fi coding, which makes a really big difference. Let's another little look at the party sub. Actually, it doesn't take up a lot of room. It's a big boot. You'd still get a suitcase in there, no problem. And it can be removed just with the use of an Allen key. So there you go. That's our System 3 Plus. We install an awful lot of these, as I, as I know you know, if you follow us on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. Um, we're really passionate about our BMW audio upgrades. We've got two demo cars sitting over there, actually. We've got an X5 and we've got a 4 Series. Both the cars have System 3 Pluses, which can be switched to a System 3. We've set them up like that for demo. The X5 also has a party subwoofer, so I can demonstrate that to you. If you've enjoyed this video, please follow us on YouTube because we are posting fairly frequently, not just Hi-Fi, but a lot of our Defender upgrades, Apple CarPlay upgrades, all sorts of interesting stuff. And you might want to give us a follow on Instagram because that's where we post our daily installs. Okay, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it.